Uh, before this video is played, I just wanted to uh, just quickly say that I, I am pretty nervous to show you guys this video because I guess in a way it's, it's probably one of the most personal videos that I've done and also it shows me at, to some extent uh, at my most vulnerable um, and I'm not quite used to that. Um, I guess in a way my, my time in Bali was a surprisingly and unexpectedly uh, a week of um, breaking things down and rediscovering why, I'm, why I do this in the first place. Uh, which was a very scary process. First, I hope you guys enjoy this video, uh, but also I hope it resonates with you um, in some way and it has some sort of meaning um, and you can get something out of it. And I hope to make more of these videos um, every week um, and get them released every Wednesday. Um, but yeah, um, just wanna say thanks so much for stopping by, I guess, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks so much. Uh, sum up your Bali trip in a couple words. Um, chill, but also uh, free and free in Bali. <laughs> Thank you. It was just nice to go to Bali, especially because I, I went there earlier on the year and I didn't really have time to explore because I was on tour, so. Hey, yo! Hello! Hi right, everybody, welcome back! Well, actually, welcome back into the videos. Let's go! Yeah. Yeah. Right, straight up the gut. Straight up the gut. <laughs> yeah, we were staying, we were staying in this place in Changu, like this hostel that he always goes to. Like he's been there, I don't know, about seven times now, I think. So like this is the like the same spot that he always goes to. Which is me, which is so sick. So like he's already like well connected and just knows where everything is. <laughs> Uh, so I was in Bali, um, it was actually to go over there to film a wedding. Uh, but yeah, it was a beautiful wedding though, like such a cool, cool dislocation. I remember before I went on this trip, like telling myself like, okay, like, have your camera on you, but you don't. You don't have to feel like you have to film every single thing, every single moment. Just like you know, just film when you want to film, and just also just make sure you have a good time. <laughs> What's up? Oh, hello. Oh, I fucking hate them. <laughs> it's fun hating them at all. I'm scared. <laughs> It's actually just a nice place to just relax as well. Like yeah, sure there's like a lot of partying there as well, um, especially in the area that we're in, but um, it's so nice to, to know that you, you can choose to just, nah, I'm just gonna chill out um, and you don't feel obliged to feel like, oh, I'm here for the week or something, so I've gotta explore every single part of the island kind of thing. Maybe it's because, maybe it's because like, especially being with Dre, where he's like been there seven times now, but he hears so many other people go back and forth so many times that it's like, you just like deep down, you kind of know, yeah, I'm going to be back at some point, you know? Your ice cream there, Louise. <laughs> I remember this was one moment where, it was like on the last day, I had, I still had a full day on my last day for my flight, and a bunch of us from, a bunch of us from the hostel, and like, just got, got our scooters and we Hooned around um, the back roads uh, through the rice fields and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> this moment where I was like, holy shit, like this genuine enjoyment out of that, which was sick. Um, and that was like such a cool <laughs> feeling, but so I guess that was a very unexpected, I guess, um, experience. Um, but then also maybe we kind of also think about like after that, just thinking, holy shit, like how long have I not really been enjoying what I've been doing? And then like after that, he took us down another back road and like this is somewhere that he just doesn't, he says he doesn't take many people and doesn't tell anyone where it is because obviously it's like, it's like his secret spot. So it's, it was awesome that he showed us.
had already known this guy for you know for a few days. So I guess that's what's so magical about traveling is yeah, when you feel like you've met someone, you only know them for a couple of days, but you feel like you've known them for years. Um, that's sick. Especially when you're in a place like Bali, like time isn't a thing. Like time is just not even a factor. That's which is so liberating as well, and so uh, just there's just no sense of structure. Definitely, yeah, you've got a strong sense of freedom for sure.